Hi there. So in this particular video, we'll understand again calculating the forward price, the value of a forward contract. But this time, the underlying asset that we are going to use is not going to be a stock, but rather it is going to be a bond. All right. So again, in the in bond, you know, you'll have the same thing. You'll have the benefits that are coming in, benefits in terms of coupons here. So you'll have to deduct for that because whatever benefits you see that are coming in the future, you need to deduct it from the spot price so that you're you know you're able to arrive at the forward price. So those things we need to you know do it in the exact same way how we did it for dividends. So it is just a recap of what we did, but since it is for bonds, I'll uh, run through the question that I have with me. All right. So the forward price is calculated in the very same way. You have the spot price. You deduct for the present value of coupon into one plus RF into key power T. All right. Then if you want to calculate the value. Uh, you can do it in the very same way FTT minus F naught T that is a new forward price minus your forward price divided by 1 plus RF to the power T minus T and how do you calculate this you calculate this using the formula the spot price minus uh, the present value of coupon into 1 plus RF to the power T minus T all right uh, the calculations are to be done in this way I particularly like this particular way of calculating the value and not the one which is given in our textbooks uh, our textbooks have both of them if you're using the treasure it has both of them but I uh, prefer this one because if we are using this particular formula, it will set a norm for the other uh, derivative contracts as well. So uh, there is a particular formula which is you know easier for uh, easier to do in terms of calculations for the forward contracts. But if you stick to this formula, that is new minus old divided by the risk free rate. All right, you will be able to apply it in more or less uh, a lot of uh, the other derivative contracts that we have. All right, so uh, here, here we have a question. Uh, we have a question whereby we have a bond which has a face value of $1,000. The coupon rate that is applicable in that bond is 7%. All right, however, there is a semi-annual payment. So you get $35 at the end of half year and the other $35 at the end of uh, the other half year. All right, or at the completion of the year, I would rather say. The spot price today is $1050. The, it is trading at a premium. The risk free rate is uh, 6%. All right, the risk free rate is 6%. So it goes without saying if the coupon rate is greater than the YTM, uh, which is in our case is a risk free rate, it will trade at a premium and that is what we are able to see it here. Now what we need to do is we need to calculate the forward price. All right, that is F not T. So we are standing right here. We are talking about a contract that is 250 days longer and we need to calculate the forward price of the same all right so the formula is simple we are going to use this particular formula we have the spot price in terms of 1050 dollars we need to arrive at the present value of coupon so for that we need to know the coupon value goes without saying it is pretty simple thousand dollars multiplied by seven percent why are we dividing it by two because we want to arrive at the coupon value for uh, one coupon value we want to arrive at because since the contract is 250 days long and in the question it is already mentioned that there is a coupon payment that has already been done before so there's only one coupon payment that is left for this time period that comes after 182 days all right so we need to know the coupon price uh, coupon value rather so that is 35 dollars how do we arrive at the 35 dollars it is simple you have seven percent on the face value of thousand dollars so that is seven uh, seventy dollars but since it is getting split up into two parts during a year you only have 35 dollars that you need to take care of during your 20 to 50 days contract forward contract period all right so 35 dollars is the value now since we all know that we are going to get the coupon here all right however since we are you know trying to figure out the forward price we need to have the pvc all right before you were calculating pvd all right, that is the present value of dividend but here you will need to calculate the pvc that is the present value of coupon so coupon amount you have is 35 dollars you divide it by 1.06 to the power you're going to get the coupon here all right you want to discount it till this point in time so you have 180 days in your hand for which you need to discount it for so 1.06 to the power 182 divided by 365 once you do that you get this value as 34.00 dollars all right so please make sure you pause the video and you calculate this particular value now you need to calculate the forward price which is pretty simple you have the spot price you deduct for the present value of coupon so 1050 minus 34 into 1.06 already into 1.06 to the power 250 by 365 all right so you have 1.06 you have 252 we have 365 why are we taking 250 upon 365 because we are standing here in terms of spot price as well as in terms of present value of coupon because you have already brought back the present value of coupon here so now you need to calculate the forward price and you need to go back here or right, not go back here exactly but you need to go in that direction you need to go towards the 258 day and that is where you're compounding it for 250 days divided by 365 and with this you'll be able to arrive at your 
forward price make sure you're pausing the videos time and again to make these calculations all right i've done it for you but you need to make sure that you're doing it on your own so quite simple all right quite simple in the way the calculations were done uh, not very difficult because it is exactly the same way how we did it for dividends uh, dividend paying stocks now say for example we are standing at the hundredth day and we want to figure out the value all right still the coupon payment is due all right still there is 82 days left still there are 82 days left for the coupon payment all right still there are 82 days left for the coupon payment and we want to figure out the uh, value of the uh, forward contract at time period 100 all right so how do we do that for that we'll have to come back to the formula the formula says you need to calculate the new forward price all right so the new forward price is calculated in this way you need to have the spot price do we have the spot price yes we have the spot price uh, in terms of 1090 dollars all right so at uh, s100 the spot price is 1090 dollars quite simple quite easy all right so we have 1090 you need to have the present value of coupon if any yes there is a coupon payment that is to be made after 82 days so we have to discount the coupon uh, payment for this much time period all right so that is something that we need to consider and you need to multiply it by 1 plus rf to the power t minus t all right so rf you have it in terms of six percent uh, t minus t is nothing but the entire time horizon minus how many days have passed so 250 minus 100 so that is 150 days as your t minus t all right so this is exactly how it works around all right this is exactly how it works around so you need to have the uh, ftt that is 1090 minus 35 divided by 1.06 to the power 82 by 365 why are we do why are we taking 1090 because it is the spot price at 100th day so that we have taken minus 35 so 35 is the coupon amount all right but we need to discount it only for 82 days now because we're already standing at the 100th day that coupon payment is due uh, on the 182nd day so you need to divide it only for 35 uh, for 82 days here so 35 divided by 1.06 to the power 82 by 365 all right so you have things here already you have made sure that the spot price is here the spot price that you're using after the 100th day is here at the very same time the uh, coupon value has been discounted till this point in time and all what all you that you need to take is take this forward to the 250th day so that is what you're doing with the discounted that is 1.06 to the power 150 upon 365 and with this you can calculate the new forward price all right i've already done this calculations for myself using x using an excel or the calculator the financial calculator that we tend to use but you need to pause the video and make sure that you're doing the calculations Please use the store recall value or the store and recall function that you have in your calculator because it makes your life e very easier. You can simply calculate one up 150 upon 365. You can store it and then uh, you can have 1.06 to the power that stored value. And likewise, you can do it for this number as well. All right. So make sure you're pausing the video and using the calculator to your use and making the uh, calculations easier for you. All right. Next thing that we need to calculate is the value. All right. We have the new forward price. We have the old forward price. All, all that we need to do is discount it by 1 plus rf to the power t minus t. So the new forward price is 1081 divided by 0 0.34 and the old forward price is nothing but 1057.37. You divide it by 1.06 all right, and to the power you have 150 upon 365. And then you'll be able to arrive at the value which is 23.11. All right, it was 23.109 something uh, but you will be able to you know uh, approximated to 23.11 so this is exactly how you calculate the value of a forward contract again given that the underlying is a bond and not a stock this time but yes the calculations are more or less very similar however when we do it for futures you know things might change a little and that is what we're going to discuss in the upcoming videos but yes this is the basic basic part that you need to understand post that will include accrued interest and all those concepts and then uh, arrive at you know futures value bonds uh, forwards value and all those things but yes for now you'll be able to make sure that we have uh, given that we have discrete coupon payments you'll be able uh, easily able to calculate the price as well as the value of a forward contract whenever the underlying is a bond thank you